welcome to curie electronics today we will solve the second part of 2019 scsc sharp technician b electronics question paper the first part we are solved up to 29 questions in this part we will solve remaining 21 questions in this question paper there were 50 questions so let's solve the remaining 21 questions question number 30 the output impedance of a transistor connected in dash arrangement is connected in dash arrangement is the highest so what configuration of a transistor gives highest output impedance? So we need highest output impedance. Which is this circuit? It is common base. Here we will give the input. Here you will take the output. So the, the output impedance of a transistor connected in common base arrangement is the highest. Question number 31. The voltage gain of a, of a transistor connected in common collector arrangement. When we say common collector arrangement. Okay. This common collector this can be called as called as emitter follower or what we can call buffer. Okay. The voltage gain of a transistor connected in common collector arrangement is the voltage gain is less than 1. So the answer is option D. Option D is the answer. That is less than less than 1. Question number 32. For germanium transistor amplifier VC should be dash for faithful amplification now what do you mean by faithful amplification a small amplitude input we are giving for faithful amplification there should not should not be any distortion in the wave in the in a, there should not be any distortion in the signal so this is the output so it's faithfully amplified on the other hand if you see the signal it is not faithfully amplified here what happened clipping occurred clipping clipping occurred okay now we see we see should be greater than 0 0.2 volt to get faithful amplification if it is less than 0 0.2 volt that means the transistor is in saturation so for a germanium transistor amplifier vc should be greater than 0 0.2 volt that means should not below 0 0.2 volt So the answer is option B is the right answer. Not below 0 0.2 volt. Question number 33. Emitter follower is used for. Emitter follower is also known as what? We already seen this similar question. Common collector configuration. This is mainly used for impedance matching impedance matching because this circuit 
this emitter follower output impedance is small so it matches with the loads next question the piece of electric effect in a crystal is the piece of electric effect in a crystal is in a piece of electric crystal what happens when you apply the pressure or mechanical stress voltage is developed so answer is option a is the answer a voltage developed because of mechanical stress question number 35 an oscillator differ from an amplifier because it oscillator we won't give any input signal so the answer is oscillator doesn't does not require require no input signal that is the option b is the right answer this question all of you knows in lc oscillator the frequency of oscillation is given by what is the equation for frequency of an lc oscillator uh, 1 upon 2 pi root lc so the answer is option b 1 upon 2 pi root lc question number 37 if a square wave is fed to a differentiating circuit the output will be normally how the op amp circuits looks differentiated circuits are going to be a transistor there will be a capacitor in the feedback feedback path there is a resistor r and c this is a differentiator circuit now if i give the input what is the input you are giving you are giving a input as a square wave this is the input what is the output i am going to get as an input so what output i am going to get i'll get sharp pulses like this sharp pulses i will get as the output so the answer is option b option b is the right answer that is the sharp pulses now what if i gave triangular wave here then I'll get output as square wave. Okay, then I'll get output as square wave. So this is a differentiator circuit. I'm not mentioning integrator circuit here. You may get confused. Question number 38. A clamping circuit adds dash component to the signal. How a clamper circuit looks? A capacitor and a diode. Then there will be a load. That is RL. So here we are applying the input signal. This is what? This is positive clamper. Negative in negative clamper, what dif, what is the difference? The this diode becomes reverse. The I button you can click and see what is positive clamper and negative clamper. Now, uh, now this is our input to the clamper. Input to the clamper. This is V M, and the negative side minus V M. In the output what we will get output of the clamber output of the clamber is like this so this is going to be the reference line this is going to be 2 vm and this is vm
So, see the the pulse has completely shifted towards the positive side. This is what positive clamper. In the reverse also happens. The the pulse will whatever the input pulse. This is the input pulse. This pulse will completely shifted towards the below the reference line. That is a negative clamper. Then we have minus two vm. So the answer is DC. This how this getting shifted? It is adding DC to the signal. Question number thirty nine. The control element in an SCR is what is the control element in an SCR? Let's draw the symbol for SCR. Is the gate, anode, and cathode? I say P and P and device. Right. P and P and device. So how many junctions we have? We have three junctions: J1, J2, and J3. So here the controlling element is the gate. So the answer is option D is the right answer. Question number forty. An ammeter connected in dash with the circuit element whose current we wish to measure. Ammeter is always connected in series with the circuit to measure the to measure the current. Voltmeter is connected always in parallel. CRO is used to measure what is what we can measure with CRO voltage AC voltage peak to peak we can measure or peak voltage we can measure phase we can measure frequency also we can measure so the answer is all the above all the above is the answer. Hartley oscillator is commonly used in. It is commonly used in radio receivers. Answer is option A. If Q of an LC circuit increases, then bandwidth. What is the relation between bandwidth and Q of a tuned amplifier? Bandwidth. Bandwidth is equal to Resonant frequency of the tuned amplifier upon Q. So now Q increases bandwidth. What happens to the bandwidth? If Q of an LC circuit increases, then bandwidth decreases. Answer is option. Option B is the answer. Now what what is Q? Q equal to X L upon R. Excel upon R is the Q. What is Q? Quality factor, right? Next question: The gate of a JFET is biased. This is which N channel or P channel? P channel, sorry. Tell me, this is N channel or P channel MOSFET? Is it? It is coming in. The arrow is toward it towards inside. That is N channel. This is a N channel MOSFET. In N channel MOSFET, whether N channel or P channel MOSFET, signal is applied to the gate. Also, this gate is reverse biased. Gate is reverse biased. The drain voltage. So the gate of a JFET is always reverse biased. Reverse biased. This is a N channel N channel MOSFET gate is N channel. So I have connected to a positive potential. Convert the binary numbers zero one 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 to its equivalent. Decimal. All of you know this. How do you write zero one one one? This is two to the power zero, two to the power one, two to the power two. This is zero. 
So what do you get? You get 4 plus 2 plus 1 which is equal to 7. I am not explaining in detail these already videos are there you could watch. In the boolean expression a y equal to a and b represent it represent what it represents it represents and gate a and b are the input output is a dot b that is a and b so it represents and gate in an intrinsic semiconductor in the number of electrons number of free electrons it is equal to the number of holes Phenyl diodes are used primarily as all these questions are really easy Phenyl diodes are used primarily as voltage regulators all of you know voltage regulators next the arrow in the symbol of a transistor indicate the direction of hole current in the emitter hole current in the emitter transistor biasing is done to keep dash in the circuit see how do you bias a transistor we will draw the a load line vc with the vc and ic when you draw we will get a load line then we will take the center point q point and we will bias the transistor why do we do this to keep a proper direct current answer is to proper direct current we are because we are considering only the direct current dc only we are considering to select the quiescent point or operating point quiescent point or operating point of the transistor so operating point so this was the last question so we have done with this stac sharp question paper i felt it was really easy okay we are completed so i hope all these videos are useful to you if you like the video don't hit the like button also don't forget to share with your friends